Hi, my name is Kira, and I am from Illinois, and I grew up in a very small town in the middle of nowhere. We live out in the country, and we live in a very rural place. I went to a church 20 miles away, and that church had a really heavy focus on missions. I joined Pays because I was looking for a long-term mission project. I didn't know anybody, and, and I can't believe I did it now, but when you first come and you're putting down your bags and you're kind of arriving at the accommodation, people were really warm and friendly to me and really welcoming, welcoming and my team leader was very um, welcoming and um, made me feel very comfortable. So almost immediately you feel part of a community and then you have two weeks of intense training and the training um, was just really mind opening for me. The Kingdom First teaching from the Kingdom Principles was really impactful for me and made me think about what it means to um, seek first the Kingdom of God, what that really means and what that could really look like. and. Um, being surrounded by different cultures, different people from different countries and different church backgrounds really challenges kind of the things that you hold dear somehow and that you think are, are, are right and true and just really expands your, your mind and your understanding about who God is and, and what it means to seek first the kingdom. So an exciting thing that we get to be a part of and um, that the PACE team this year in Weymouth has been a part of is running an alpha course in a school over lunchtime and it's steadily grown and the kids really get engaged with it and it's really fun to see and, and have open discussions about uh, those kinds of faith topics. Off the back of that we're looking to start a CU in the school. The exciting thing about working with teenagers is just being able to paint them a different picture and my heart for girls in England is that they um, get to hear and experience a, a different narrative for life and life with Jesus is so dynamic and vibrant and f fun and scary and I think that's what Pays did for me is it really kind of like lifted my eyes or expanded my vision or um, made me, helped me dream again or imagine again and I, I like passing that on. Through the Pays teaching that I've received about discipling and um, taking students on experiences or giving students opportunities to learn, I started talking to two of them about leading a Havarim group together, a, a Bible study together just for girls that would be in a, a public place, um, a, a place in the community that wouldn't be kind of hidden in a church but would be more in the community and would be kind of for girls their age that they would lead. The exciting thing is, is hearing students talk about I was really scared and I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but it went amazingly well and I would do it again. The girls that I've built a relationship with, I feel now that um, to really see a change in somebody's life, you have to commit to them somehow and they need to know that you're committed to them and that you're invested in them and that you really care about them. and and. When it's, it's like that saying that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care, but that's true. And especially with young people, they need consistency. They need people who are dependable, people who are um, not afraid of them or people who are really concerned about them. And, and when they pick up on that, when you, when you are consistent with them and when you show up, then, then they open up and then you start to see changes in the way they think about things and um, now I feel like the girls that I'm, that I'm mentoring, I've been with them since they were 13, they're 16 and 17 now and I'd like to see them kind of through to their next step. I'd like them all to do a gap year or um, 
I'd like to just see them kind of on to their next step, whether that's university or a gap year, and I feel like whatever I can do to equip them um, to live for Jesus wherever they go, I want to do that. And I feel like when they go, I'll feel like I've, I've done it, I've accomplished something.